Morning folks, uh, rant time. I was going to not name the organization that this is about for, you know, to protect my wife's job. But, uh, latter part you'll understand why I don't give, we just don't give a fuck anymore. Uh, recently, our state passed a, state, a balanced budget, first time in many years. There were cuts made, but the cuts were straight across the board. No individual group was picked out, nothing specific. It was straight across the board. Well, it seems as though the hospitals are having a fit. Um, uh, Dartmouth-Hitchcock uh, well, on June 21st, did a call for action. Uh, D Dartmouth Hitchcock leadership pledged to keep you informed about New Hampshire's budget negotiations and the potential impact to our patients and to and to Dartmouth Hitchcock. I'm writing you. I am writing to you now to provide an update and to ask for your help in urging New Hampshire Governor Lynch to veto the New Hampshire st state budget. They feel that they're exempt from this. On June 16th, the Legislative Conference Committee on State Budgesla Budget Legislation agreed on a New Hampshire budget that would harm our patients and jeopardize our ability to fulfill our mission. We expect this, well, it was passed both by the House and the Senate, and Lynch passed it. It. Uh, we need to be they're saying that well, they need to be very clear that this budget is extreme well we're living in extreme times I'm sorry everybody took a hit on this that was on June 21st on July tw or on 25th was it okay no wait excuse me on June 27th uh, I am writing to thank you for your efforts last week following our call to action. Many of you wrote to Governor Lynch uh, sharing your perspectives on the impact uh, of the New Hampshire state budget. As was reported over the weekend, Lynch allowed the budget to be passed without his signature. Uh, they were disappointed, yada, yada, yada. Then they go on and... Uh, Today in Concord, lawyers representing Dartmouth Hitchcock and nine other New Hampshire hospitals have filed a suit in U.S. District Court seeking an, adjun an, an injunction to enjoin the state from implementing the st uh, state's deficit Medicaid funding plan. As constructed, the state shifts 100% of financial responsibility for the care of Medicaid patients to the state's hospitals. These actions fail to meet the state's legal obligations to the federal program under this shared responsibility. Uh, they are calling it a uh, new tax. Uh, the budget is passed will impose a new tax on hospitals. Uh, that is uh, so wrong because the hospitals do not pay a cent in taxes to the state. Not one cent. They're talking layoffs, this, that, and the other thing. Well, let me tell you a little bit about their structure. Uh, they've got a board of trustees. There's two people. Uh, they're both making seven digits. Or, well, excuse me, there's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, 20 people. They're all collecting uh, seven digits. Then you've got, uh, let's see, co-presidents of Dartmouth Hitchcock. Got two of them. Again, seven digits. Then, let's see, well, you know, Chief Advancement Officer, Chief Financial Officer, Chief Human Resources Officer, uh, Information, yada, yada, yada. Uh, one, by the way, one of the uh, presidents is also uh, on uh, a, a committee of 400 people to improve 
hospital care and yada 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 400 people that are all making six digits plus you know none of these people none of their jobs are on the line none of these people have offered to take a cut and pay to help offset no they're weeding out the smaller people they're saying all oh, through attrition this this and this and now I'm getting to another part of this rant which is totally bullshit. Valley News. DHMC orders flu vaccination for its 8,700 system employees. If, uh, you know, uh, let's see, what is it? If uh, anyone not in compliance after December 30th will be suspended from work for two weeks, which will either be unpaid or paid with earned time. Failure to comply by January 13th, 2012 will result in the worker getting fired. Now, the wife hasn't taken a flu shot in a couple of years. And in a couple of years, for the past couple of years, she's not been sick. Before, she was faithful about getting the, the flu shot. And it seemed like every time something went through that hospital, she brought it home. She was forever sick. Two years now, she hasn't been sick. It is her rights that are being violated. Right now, she's currently working, looking for another job. It's that simple. Uh, they just won't listen to reason. This hospital, uh, you know, they whine. They want everything. Look at the money they're doing. Very top heavy. Very top heavy. I mean, it's ridiculous. A normal business couldn't survive that way. But they are reliant on the state funding, monies that come from you and I. Instead of having a balanced budget, they just don't touch the hospitals. Touch everything else, but don't touch the hospitals. This budget was fair because it slashed completely across the board everybody. No one place was missed. State government even got slashed. I'm sorry, we've got a balanced budget. Learn to live on what you got. Stop the waste. And yeah, trust me, I've seen it. There's a lot of waste in that hospital. A lot. I just, sorry this is so disjointed. It just, it just fries my ass. This bullshit that they're, you know, they're willing to... They're going to make people take the shot, whether you want it or not. The only way out of it is if you get a medical excuse or if it's against religious beliefs. But then they're going to make your life impossible and they will eventually let you go. I call bullshit. Get the fuck over it, Hitchcock. Learn to live within your means like everybody else does. Peace out.